going on, it's Mungo, and welcome back to the Pokemon Six Gold uh, Egg Log. In the last episode, we started out our journey, and we just we found these three Pokemon you get to choose from. So, as things stand at this moment, uh, there are two Pokemon that are tied, which being Farfetch'd and Eevee. And I decided that because as much as I love Casper, we're going to go with the Farfetch'd, I believe. Um, I would have ended up using the Farfetch'd as an encounter uh, had we... Uh, had we not ended up using it, or it had it end not win, gosh, I'm having a lot of trouble with that, speaking. <laughs> anyway, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna rare candy this guy up here, uh, so we can get him up to Chikorita's level, because he's replacing Chikorita. It's a good thing I'm not using the Chikorita, because I accidentally used a rare candy on it. Okay, nah, you've got a good move set already. Okay, I'm actually gonna give you the stick because this will. Oh, it boosts your crit ratio. That's not. That's really good, actually. I thought of just. I thought it boosted your attack like the thick club, but no. Cool. I'm excited about that. That, that should actually be really nice. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm just gonna probably just release these. I'm gonna leave you because I don't think Dunsparce will win, and just. In case, no, I mean, I, I'm sticking with Casper. That's what I'm gonna do. We'll just move on to the next box to trade in our our other Casper. Well, why don't you, oh my gosh, dude. Do I gotta like put it in my party? I really hate how the boxes work in this game. I'm gonna pull up that random generator again. All right, <clears throat> 24 is the first one we get. So that's gonna be you right here. Your name is Draggy. I don't know if I'll go with that, but I'm gonna, uh, I gotta actually put you back so I can get the item off of you. Okay, so this will be a level 5 Pokemon, whatever it is. Uh, I'm actually going to... Let's see. I wish the buttons actually moved the thing. So, we're going to stick Chikorita. Uh, yeah, because that was the last one. We're going to stick Chikorita and, and the Eevee in this, back in this box. That'll, that'll work well enough and pretty cool stuff. So, we're going to hash this egg. We're going to see what it is. I have an idea of what it could be. Because there's only a couple Pokemon that actually need the Dragon Scale. I think actually one. Alrighty. It is a horsey. That's kind of what I was thinking it'd be. Cool. I love horsey, actually. We're gonna name. Yes, we're gonna name you, and you're gonna be Perdra. You're probably Sniper. Sniper. The reason I call it Perdra is because that's what I named my shiny Kingdra, because uh, it's purple and it's pretty. So anyway, we're, nope. I didn't mean to hit that button. We'll have to see what moves this guy's got. I'm excited. No, I won't. You're not, I'm not even gonna pretend. Okay. So for now, we'll give you the the Dragon Scale because I have nothing else to give you. So let's check out Perd right here. You are a modest, modest, that's actually, that's really nice. With Water Gun, Aurora Beam, Outrage, and Octazooka. That's pretty dope. <laughs> it's a little overpowered. It's got Swift Swim, not Sniper. I wish it had Sniper, but you know what? That's okay with me. All right, pretty cool stuff. I don't know how many I'm gonna actually bring with me, but we're gonna hatch all of our eggs now. So, yeah. Alright, so the next up we have is this Geodude, which will have a level 4 Pokemon. Alright, so the next number we're gonna generate is 25. Okay, that works. Alright, so what is, what is you? You, I have no idea. No item, no name. Alright. We're just going to hatch from said egg. Very, that'll be very good for the first gym. But he doesn't die in the first gym. All right, so I think we named it Bolt. I mean, it's not not a very creative name, but it's just really good for the Pokemon. I love Electric. Electric and Magnetic are so cool. They're such good Pokemon. All right, so let's. Uh, I keep hitting the wrong buttons. Okay, so we're gonna level you up to level four. You wanna learn Thunder Wave? Thunder Wave is a good move. You have Fire Fang, Ice Fang, Thunder Fang, and Crunch. <laughs> With the quiet nature, that doesn't make any sense. I don't really want to get rid of any of your moves. This is exactly like, it's like, um, what do you call it? What? Luxray. Okay, so the next number we're going to generate, generate two. Okay, so we're going to trade in this level seven Magikarp. So we're going to have a pretty good amount of high level Pokemon. I should probably just take this Spinarak with me and uh, 
Okay, so we have two and 29. Okay. Okay, so number two has a choice band. Very interesting. And by the way, I'm not implementing Shady's rule that he put in for himself that he could only put the item on the on the Pokemon that had the item originally. I'm just gonna do. I, I'm just gonna give whatever item I want to anybody else. Choice items aren't that great when it comes to Nuzlocks because I'm that bad. Anyways, this is going to be our Pokemon, our level seven Chimchar. Not bad. All right, what do I even name you? I'm gonna name you Chuck. I just feel that name kind of fits you. We'll fight Chuck eventually. We'll, who knows if you'll be on the team then or not. But I, I'm liking how we've gotten so much diversity. We have three normal types to pick from as starters. And then after that, we haven't had a single same typing. So that's really nice. We'll check. Well, I'm not teaching it, Ember. Fake out, fire punch, thunder punch, double kick. Okay, you're going to be really good straight out the gate. Beautiful. I'm going to give you the choice band now. I'm not going to have it on you for very long, but I just want to give it to you so I know what's what. And the final Pokemon will be hatching for now until we get... Because we've got, what, three more encounters, four more encounters, five we go to Sprout Tower. So we can literally hatch another crap ton of eggs. So that's really nice. Okay, so next... For, oh yeah, 29. That was the egg we have right here. All right, nothing special about it. All right, finally it's going to hatch. I don't know why I keep doing that. I just, like, knock my headphones back because they sometimes fall forward. It's a Ralts. Dude! Cynthia! How are you? Man, that's... It's been a while. That's... So we've gotten... Uh, okay. I'm really tempted to use every single one of... I had a Ralts in my Sol Storm Silver playthrough. That was my first encounter on the... On the route past Cherry Grove. Dude... It's, it's trippy that I'm having that similar Pokemon. Everything else is different, though. So, let's check out... I, I should probably just level her up real quick. Okay, I don't really know what I want to do, because I love this all of these Pokemon. You know what? I think we'll try to use all of them. Let's see. Do you have any attack move, or am I going to have to switch train? So, you're docile with Synchronized Willow, Shadow Sneak, Confuse Ray, and Encore. That's a very interesting moveset. So this thing's kind of out of its element with <laughs> physical moves and a quiet nature. It's got decent physical attack with lightning rod, so that'll be nice. And doesn't lightning rod give a special attack boost, or is that just in newer generations? Anyway, for now, I don't think I want to use the Ralts, just because of, like, move selection. It's got, like, it's got, literally got Shadow Sneak, and that's about it for now. So it'll be better when I have time to grind it. Or when I actually need to. So for now, I think we'll be sticking with these four. Because I really like the rest of them. Since the new Madden Mobile came out, and I've been playing a lot of that recently, I'm going to name it Depth Chart. I can't obviously fit the entire thing in there. So we're going to name... Or not name. I'm going to change the actual thing. We'll ch we'll change the checks, because I like this wallpaper. We don't, tech we don't actually have a death box right now. Um, so hopefully we won't need it. What I'll do is I'll fill in some of these eggs into the places and release the Pokemon that we traded out. So anyways, cool. Now we have a bunch of stuff we get to do here. We get to, I remember I named an entire episode after a person we're going to meet. And yes, once again, it's nighttime. You know what? I'm going to change my my, my computer time. All right, let's stock up, get more three more Pokeballs just because you never know. And we're going to buy some potions. Since I already have seven, I'll just buy five. Um, you know what? For now, I think we're okay. I changed my clock time to 12 p.m., so it's now going to be daytime, which is good. And here's our encounter. For, did we get... This is... Our spinner rack was our encounter here, so we don't need another one. All right, let's check you out, buddy. <laughs> Goodbye. Was that a crit? I wasn't paying attention. Oh my gosh, I won't go up. Hinata's going to get super overleveled because this is like my best Pokemon right now. Anyway, for now, I'm going to put Bolt up first because Bolt is the lowest leveled. What do you think, little buddy? It's coming along happily. Well, I'm glad you're happy, even though you've only known me for a little while. Hey, another Apricorn. I don't feel like going back and getting the other. Oh, actually, I should because I hope that didn't show up in the recording. That was really weird. Sometimes my screen does this weird flickering. It's stupid. Oh, uh, we can get an encounter in New Bark Town. I forgot about that. All right, so we can fish. Let's see what we're going to encounter here. It's probably going to be another Magikarp, if I had to guess. It's a Shielder! 
shield there. Um, I don't like having you in here against the shield there, because I'm worried. I missed Dr. Zuko. Okay, let's just go for a Pokeball. At plus two, can you survive two outrages? Probably. Well, ah, uh, you can definitely live a Thunder Fang from him now with the. That did literally nothing. Okay, I'm gonna get Hinata out here. You can Leaf Blade this thing. I know you can. I'm actually glad it used it withdraw a bunch. Sweet. No. All right, so we'll have to put that in the PC. We're gonna run back to Cherry Grove now. Hey, Bolt grew to level five. Sweet. It's not like I ran back and forth to battle a bunch of Pokemon or anything. <laughs> we'll, we'll switch out the shelter later because I don't need to uh, hatch another egg right now. I'd rather just continue on. Spider Fang, goodbye. Bolt's now level six. So that means that Perdra is going to lead out against uh, Youngster Joey. What's up, dude? I just thought I was trying to find more Pokemon. You look weak. Come on, let's battle. All right, Joey. Sorry, you're going to have to go down. Okay. Let's see what he does. I'm gonna really quick heal because I'm worried about pursuit. Focus energy. That could be bad. Okay. Good job, Perdra. You the bomb. Kind of glad I didn't get his number because you know that happens. That they just call you a lot. They're like, hey, hey, hey. You want to talk now? Are you a trainer? Yes. Okay. I couldn't tell. Do you have anything? Uh, it doesn't matter, you're dead. <laughs> C dot. C dot doesn't have an ice type move. Or not ice type, but grass type move now. A Sentret. Um, Bolt. Everyone's already leveled up. That's really nice. Thunderfang. I missed. Great. And I got confused. Great! Okay. Um, Chuck, go. Choice banded double kick, you're gone. Alright, Cherubi. I can stay in and double kick, because that's will still do a lot of damage. Chuck Russell, level 8! Nice! You're bedazzled. Get wrecked. How you doing, Perdra? Looks like it wants to lead. Alright, you can lead, if you know where we're going. Okay! We are back in business. Uh, you're, a you're not a trainer, I'm pretty sure. I'm not a trainer if you look one in the eyes. This is the person I was talking about. Because this is, I, I named an entire episode after this. Hey, yeah, this match, you this is crazy. Let's have a battle. I'll win, maybe. That was really bad. Because I can't get my voice to go high. But, you get the point. It's Carly Rae Jepsen, so. That's her name, right? Oh, wow, Perdra woke up really quickly. Lear? Nah. Skitty. Okay, Bolt, go. I didn't realize Bolt was only level 6. I should have had him out front. Sorry for speeding through battles, I just don't like sitting here- STOP MISSING! Clefairy. Alright, I'm gonna sub you out now. Uh... Because I don't want you- Wow. Stop what you're doing! Okay, it's all good. Get destroyed. What are you gonna say? I hope you get into Korean singing. Do you think I'm a good singer? Um... I think you're a good singer. I didn't particularly like your song. But I think I don't even know if she's released another song. I have not heard anything about Curly Jepsen forever. That shows you just how old the hack is. The game itself is uh kinda old. The game itself it came out in like 2011, right? No, 2010. Anyway, our encounter here is a bell sprout. I don't know why I did that. That was not very smart. Okay, I'm going to you four times resist the leaf blade, so I'm gonna leaf blade you. Cause I wanna be able to catch you. I was thinking I could trade it for the Onyx, but it's, I literally can't use the Onyx, so it doesn't matter. Either way, I just swap it out. Bell Sprout. Nope, you don't want it. You don't get a nickname. Your trade, your egg fodder. Sorry about that, buddy. All right, so now we get an encounter here in Dark Cave, and then we get we can get one in Violet City, and I'm pretty sure Violet City is the first place where they uh, they have a one of the dudes who gives a, gives the Pokemon if you answer the questions right. I can't actually attack you anymore. So good thing you got caught. I'm really- I love that he removed the cut trees. Walk too far, your feet hurt and are sleepy. Because don't- you have to bring him something, don't you? Like that Spiro. Find a good Pokemon, I'm gonna raise it and take on Falconer. I have Pokemon for Falconer, and look who it is. I knew it was you, Zakiya! How'd you get past me? It's that me for spassing me! 
to score your character Pokemon Bowser. Gotta go! Why don't you pass me again? Let's go, Meryl! Peace. Uh, but I can't really do Wi-Fi battles on this. I mean, the Gen... They've already turned off the Wi-Fi for Gen 4. And this is also wrong. Doesn't this guy next to me give me, like, bulk up or something like that? Okay. Anyway. We're going to put you guys in the PC for the moment. We have a Gluttony Bellsprout. Is that like an actual ability he gets or one that was given to it by Dreano? I don't know. Hello, I should be familiar if we stand up with Pokemon fan on the TV show The Show Me Show. I'm Pimo the Big Brother. Would you like him? Would you tell me? Sure. Um. Can I? <laughs> there it is. Bye bye. Bye 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 for now. We'll do that. <laughs> Oh my, that's how you feel? I never thought it was that way. Do you like the way I'm exciting and fun? Bye-bye. <laughs> bye for now, bye-bye. Truly, it gives me new energy. Well, that doesn't help me. I thought you were going to give me something, man. Well, hello, the trainer. Would you like to take a quiz? Sure. Excellent. Question one. Are any home Pokemon obtainable within Fire Red and Leaf Green? No. Nope. There were. Okay, I didn't play... I actually did not play them when they came out. So, cool. Uh, Dragonair more than 14... 13 feet long, 14 feet long. Okay, Bulbasaur's first Pokemon? No, nope, right on us. Uh, Trophy Spam and Diamond and Pearl? No, it can only be found a Platinum. Uh, I can choose whatever I want, I'm gonna choose Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur, best Pokemon ever. It's literally my, my, my favorite. I'm gonna name you Pudge just for the hell of it. Even though I don't get to keep you. My beautiful boy Pudge. Look for more Quiz Masters. There's one that gives you the starters from every region, I'm pretty sure. Except for Jotto, so there's three of them. Anyway. It means we have another four currently to trade out. You're Jolly with Chlorophyll. It's not bad. I mean, the Chlorophyll is definitely good. The Jolly part, it's kind of meh. But it's stronger than all of my Pokemon, which is funny. So I'm going to probably have to grind, because I don't remember how strong Faulkner is. But I, I'm i pretty sure he's pretty lethal. Don't you give me the Quick Claw if I follow you? You're a trainer, battle, gym leader, you win, you did? No. That's so unsteady, follow me. Yeah. He's actually, I'm actually sprinting after him, which is funny. Okay. So you give me the quick claw? Yeah, I'm Earl. Does someone else give me the quick claw? Hey, anyway, it's a little time we join a group, we join a group. Wanna cooperate? Sure. What are you gonna name a group? We're gonna name it Staroids. Staroid group. Okay, sure. Star Rigger, this is a great name, Leader of Zalkion. I don't know if I can even add more members, I don't even care. It's probably something to do with the pal pad. We're going to fish here. Because we can get an account here for Violet City. And that'll be another Pokemon we can exchange for an egg. And then there's one we can go into Bell Sprout Tower. Uh we can also go to the ruins of Alf. Can you freaking fish a Pokemon? Come on, I know there's Pokemon here. Why was it question? The mark over horsey's head. I don't make no scenes. I'm gonna water gun. Why did I do that? I should just freaking Octazuka. Okay, good enough. Pokeball go. Nope, stay in the Pokeball. Thank you. Okay, so we have another five Pokemon we can hatch. So I think I will actually uh, go and get our encounter at the ruins of Alf. We get, and we get Rock Smash coming up here, so, um, I don't know if we need specific, what do you call it, and it has Damp, it's hidden ability, um, if we need a specific gym badge, like normal, or what. I'm also gonna go buy Pokeballs, because I know you can catch Dratini with an old rod in the Ruins of Alf, and I really don't want to have to, like, like, run into a Dratini and then stop it, <laughs> not be able to catch it, because I have no Pokeballs. Okay, 15 should hopefully suffice. Audrey is walking the way. Ecrity is preventing me from shopping. Something should be done about it. Yo, I've enjoyed the trouble with Boulder walking your way. Here. Yay, HMO6. Sweet. Make him faint, Rock Smash. Yeah, I had to beat the Violet City Gym to get that, so. Or to be able to use it, I should say. Oh, no, no. First, talk to you. Did you see the strange re. So we're gonna fish. Let's see what we encounter here. Alright, what is our encounter here? It's a Magikarp. Okay, no big deal. No need to worry. Reversal and Bubble. Interesting moves to give Magikarp. At least it's not as useless as it was. Okay, there we go. So now we have a total of six Pokemon to hatch. <laughs> and we still have an encounter at Sprout Tower. 
Um, if I can go in there without actually having to engage in, like, story and stuff, I mean, we got plenty of time. I'm gonna, there's some stuff I'm gonna cut out. I can either hatch all the eggs now. Okay, so I'm gonna go capture our Bellsprout Tower encounter, and then I'll do Bellsprout Tower probably in the next episode, and I'll spend the rest of the episode hatching all of our eggs. So that'll be what I do. Okay, that was actually very quick. It's a Metatite! Interesting. Um, Pokeball Go. Okay. Uh, probably not a good thing. Let's Warbeam. Alright, I'm gonna switch quick. Because I don't want to risk... You're a fighting type! I forgot about that. Jeez, a Metatite getting a ball. Thank you. I actually forgot that Farfetch, they made him a fighting type, which makes complete sense. Adam and Nature with, uh, yeah, Super Luck. He's Super Luck too! Yo, this thing's overpowered. I'm so glad we have it. Fighting and flying. I didn't actually check that. I assumed to be normal flying. Forgot Electivire is electric fighting, which it should have been. Luxray and Luxio are electric dark, which they should have been. Because those are two typings we don't have. Like, actually have, which is crazy. And up until this point, we didn't have a fighting flying type. I'm gonna leave this encounter here that I have in my party. Or, one, this one here. The meta type with pure power. <laughs> of course it has pure power. Just because I feel like it, we're gonna do them in order. So first we're gonna do the shelter from Newbark Town, and then the Bell Sprout from Route whatever. Alright, so here we are for Box 6, which actually doesn't have 30, but that's okay. Um, I'm gonna, I, we ended up with two again, but I wanted to change it, so we're gonna be thir we're gonna have 13. So this one right here, it's got a Thunderstone. I have another idea of what it might be. I already have an Electric type, so I most likely will not use this Pokemon right now. And that's forbid that that Electric dies, so we have a level 8 whatever this is in the ball. In the egg, in the ball. Bum, 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 bum. That was what I was thinking it was gonna be, Pikachu. Hey, buddy, how are you? You know, I should have been naming Pokemon after our people. Because you guys commented on the first episode answering the question. I don't even know what the question is today is gonna be. So, anyway. Uh, would you like the nickname? Yes. So, because this isn't a female Pikachu, I'm gonna actually check the comments on that video and name it after somebody. So we'll name this Taco Waffle, or just Taco. We'll go with that. Uh, I know he's one of Jad's friends, uh, so thank you for answering the question. I appreciate it. We have Taco the Pikachu. <laughs> so let's check out this little guy. He's gonna be up to level 8, so he's gonna be pretty high level. Pikachu. With a bold nature, not bad. Volt tackle, thunder punch, fake out, tickle. So I mean, with a bold nature, that's not a good team with a lightning rod. Sweet. I accidentally leveled it up. Oops. I shoot. I leveled it up to level nine because I wasn't paying attention. I was wondering when it was gonna learn thunder shock. Oh well, it doesn't hurt that much. Oh, you have a pearl. I'm gonna take that pearl. Thank you. Okay, so let's get an egg here in place. For, all right, number seven. It is Evil Turnip. Interesting. Uh, I think that might be an Oddish. I could be wrong. But, you know what? I'm a hedge, hedge a bet that, that I'm right. <laughs> Yeesh, this Pokemon is a very happy Pokemon. <laughs> it's taking forever. There's one Pokemon I really hope it is. Uh, I'll give you a hint. We have her in the Insurgent Soul Link. Oh, this guy just gave me the XP share. Sweet! I won't really need it now because my Pokemon are low enough level that it won't be that big of a deal. Uh. <laughs> Looks like this egg will take a long time to hatch. Well, that's just dandy, isn't it? I don't have any quick egg hatch code on. So I'm gonna watch them see us go like run around and hatch it. Okay, so I got a, a quick egg hatch code. I found one. This took forever to hatch. I'm wondering if it's a legendary. It is a legendary, it's a Fion. <laughs> a 
What do I even name a Fion, man? It would have literally taken forever had I not found that, that code. So, shoot, what do I even name you? That's the question. I'm gonna name you Title. I have no better name. Okay, so I n <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna literally search it up and check its stats. It's base 80 all around, so it's not that bad. So let's check this thing out. Nope, not Pokedex. You're a jolly nature with bubble water sport. Okay. You're definitely interesting. I definitely would be down to use you, but I don't need you right now. Uh, I don't even remember what, Nick, what level I was tra training you up to. Okay, so the next... Let's, let me close these tabs real quick. So the next number we get is one. That works. Okay, so we have butt cakes. Really? I think it's probably going to be a Snorlax. That's my guess, but what level are we training you up to? Uh, level 8. Okay. So we're gonna go to 9 here, and we're gonna swap this Bulbasaur for something. What are we gonna get here? 9. Okay. Sweet. So we have a level 10 and a level 8. They should, like, literally hatch as soon as I move, yeah. This one here is a Baneri, really. Butt cakes the Baneri. That's a bit mean. All right, what do I want to name you? I'm gonna name you Fufu, cause like little bunny Fufu. <laughs> fairy tale, or not fairy tale? Nursery rhyme. That was the word I was looking for. Okay, so let's check out this Fufu here. This thing is gonna be level eight. That that other Pokemon had. Well, shoot. Okay, you you're an animate nature with ice punch, fire punch, thunder punch, and double hit. I'm not gonna lie, I really want to add you to the team. Freaking Chuck's gonna be incredible. Dude, imagine I give this thing the choice band. So if anything, I drop Bolt. Because he has physical moves and he's a special attacker. No! It's a Psyduck. Okay. I'm gonna name it Lane, as in like, it's close to lame, which is what I want to name it, but that's mean. Anyway, I wish the item stayed on him. I forgot this thing had an item and you can't actually take it off because it's not technically a Pokemon. I should, uh, yeah, you're bold with damp. Okay, I need to level these guys up. Alright, let's check out Lane. Now I have them up at their, uh, respective levels, so we have bold Lane with damp, which ex prevents combatants from exploding with Psybeam, Crushed Up, Yawn, and Psychic. Now I'm upset that I didn't actually learn Water Gun. Because you have Psychic moves. I, I'm, my guess is that they made Golduck a Psychic type, so I'm going to put Electric in the PC. Because as cool of a Pokemon as that is, I definitely want to use Baneri. I'm not going to hatch this one today, as I already said. So we have... Let's see, what's the next box we're at? Uh, box 10. Okay, so we are going to be exchanging this Poliwag for it, and Egg 24 again. Okay, 24 is the number we've gotten several times. Okay, um, well now we're going to go to Box 11, we'll exchange this Pokemon. 29! Wouldn't you know? Two num Blue Axe with Lucky Egg. Okay, so I'm really glad I actually looked. I don't know what was on the... I'm thinking about it, I'm pretty sure I know what it is. I wonder if the egg had the name Daisy. Because that would make some sense. I remember from his Heart Gold Shady Lock, he had a wide lens, not wide lens, a wise glasses Golduck. Miss Drevis, very nice. Okay, so I'm gonna name it after someone in the comments, and I know exactly who I'm gonna, uh, because I don't know who else is a female here in this Pokemon, I'm pretty sure is always female. So it's gonna be named Alicia after Legend 13's biggest fan. So, thank you for commenting. Welcome! Alright, let's check out this Alicia. I didn't actually check what levels I need to change these. Modest Nature, Growl, Sideway, Ominous Women, Nasty Plot. Very nice. It will be very fun to use. I may uh, add you to the team after we uh, battle. Oh, wow. This guy's gonna... Okay, so this is definitely a legendary. Um, wow. <laughs> it's interesting. Okay, so the this legendary Pokemon is gonna be level 10. And you are gonna be level 11. Oh, that's actually really nice. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely a legendary. I wonder what it's gonna be. <laughs> Wait.
Wait. Why did the Cyndaquil take? It must have been a literally Max Happiness. Alright, what am I gonna name the Cyndaquil? Um, we'll name him Neil. Yeah, I think we'll do that. So, we're gonna name him Neil. Thank you for commenting and answering the question. Uh, you voted for Dunsparce. Sadly, he did not win, but Dunsparce is a cool Pokemon. Alright, so let's check this dude out. That took forever. Why, though? Okay, your quiet nature with flamethrower, sunny day, toxic, extra, extra sensory. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, you're going straight on the team and place a Chuck. Because I actually prefer Cyndaquil. So I'm gonna take your choice band. Uh, you're gonna get the choice band. <laughs> you're gonna be overpowered as hell, man. Okay, Neil gets to level 10. I'm so excited to use the Cyndaquil. This is gonna be awesome, man. Okay. Sweet. So we have a very cool team. Um, I'm sticking with just the four for the gym. Uh, he has six Pokemon, so I might train up a Pokemon or two, because he does have a bunch of normal types. I may bring Mysterious along, but I, dev I don't really want to bring you as well. Uh, if anything, I'd bring like this Pikachu, but it's got a bold nature, which I don't really like when it comes to this. So, in all honesty, this is probably gonna th I'm gonna stick with these six uh, or these five to go into the next episode with so in uh, off screen I'm going to be leveling these guys up uh, training them up it's funny how our starter is the lowest level out of all of them and it actually hasn't grown a level since uh, we got it so very interesting what do you think about this Sinata okay you're tired too it is almost 1 a.m. so I really hope you enjoyed this episode guys if you did like appreciate it in the next episode take it on Br Sprat Tower um, we're probably going to take on Faulkner too, and we'll have a bunch more eggs to hatch, so that'll be nice. So, I'm enjoying this so far. This will be fun. So, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later.